And we have 429's Brett Rains live tonight where with where you can go if tornadoes do form. That's right, and Brett also has the latest on storm sirens that are not working in some River Valley cities. Brett. Oh, that's exactly right. And here in Fort Smith and throughout the River Valley, odds are that you're not far from a tornado shelter. But if you need one, you have to hurry because they only open when tornado warnings are issued. Looking at the uh, city of Fort Smith, they're very blessed in having one at every public school. So therefore, uh, within one to three miles, you have probably a tornado shelter that is near you. Sebastian County Deputy Emergency Manager Travis Cooper says you need to have a plan in place before tornadoes start to form. So therefore, they tornado watch as the prime time to identify your location of safety and where you're going to go to. Uh, during that time, hopefully you're close by or you've identified a structure where you go to the innermost part of that structure to be safe whenever the tornado warning does actually happen. In Greenwood, crews are working to fix the city storm sirens after radio receiver problems led to them being offline. The mayor says crews are installing new equipment and says the sirens should be ready to go if needed tonight. And over in Poto in LaFleur County, Oklahoma, police there say that out of the 15 city storm sirens there, that eight were not working. They say fortunately crews have been there today and now that all but three of them are fixed. Live in Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News.